They could let go the Hello everyone, this is your girl here, Jade, and today is another interesting day on my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I want us to quickly go back to depression. I first of all have to apologize for the way the last video ended. Um, it wasn't meant to end like that sorry and for that reason i'm going to give a recap just so people will understand um where we stopped so i've jotted a few things down in case you see me looking down every now and again it's just to make sure i don't leave anything out so i think um it's important to mention that depression is as common as having a flu is as common as having um temperature is as common it's as just to create the awareness to make people um understand that depression is just like any other mental health problem we should embrace it we should be open about it we should talk about it and have an understanding how to support one and there are so many triggers like we noted earlier there are environmental triggers there are, we talked about loss it could be job loss we talked about relationship breakdown um, we also talked about just difficult situations. There are so many things that can trigger one to have that sort of depressive episode. And then we talked about depression, having the mild, the moderate and the severe um, presentation. So the last video I talked about self-help um, tips. I already mentioned detoxing your mind. I just have a feeling this is very important and huge and I should say a few things again about detoxing your mind. It's very important that we recognize the the role the mind plays in our lives. Life is about perception. When we perceive, we interpret and then we act as a result of the interpretation. So it's all about the mind. The man thinketh in his heart doesn't matter your belief you in whatever you believe in even medication if you don't have the belief that that medication will work for you it would normally not work so it's also in the bible that we should guard our minds we should protect when you you imagine a security guard be aware be conscious protect your mind from anything that will not make you feel happy literally that's what it means you know in layman's terms Anything that will bring you sorrow, anything that will bring you sadness, just shut the door out of, I mean, shut the door of your heart, your mind from those things. beautiful. If there's anything that is worthy of praise, if you know anything that makes you happy, don't think about it in an abstract way. If you have money in account, for example, if you think about it and it makes you happy, just think about it. If you have a child who is behaving well, if you have a mom, if you have friends, if you have people that support you, just think about them. The whole idea is to think about the things that make you happy. Think about the good health you have. Think about the family. Think about things that are working for you. It doesn't have to be one abstract um, command like that. So there are lots of research to show that when we are sad, when we are our feelings, is like a window to our mind our emotion for example if you if you feel angry about something immediately you you should tell yourself i don't like this emotion i don't like the way i'm feeling because when you you're upset when you're angry when you're sad you're projecting negative energy and what happens is those negative energy would eventually become the creation you see in your life so when you're upset, when you're not happy, immediately switch your mode. Think example, about something when you're like driving and you run into um, an unkind driver on the road, a careless driver, immediately you would want to be upset, you would want to be concerned about your safety, and then you begin to get angry. Immediately, if you can, or your mind wanders, you might think about your worry, you might think about something that is really upsetting. The moment you remember that you're not happy, just switch your mode. Immediately snap out of that mindset and focus back on anything that would make you happy. Change the way you feel. 
So that on its own becomes a tool. Tell yourself, I know that depression is okay. I understand why I'm feeling low. It's because of X, Y, Z. But you know what? It's going to be okay. It's normal. The next thing um, that I find really helpful, which I also think you might find helpful, is to normalize your situations. By this, I mean just see it as normal. Just tell yourself it's going to be okay. Do the, let, let let this be your default position when you when you when you're faced with challenges rather than inflame situations by worrying. If you can't do anything about your problem, if you can't tell someone who can do anything not just to entertain people with your leave problem. it alone. Even in the medical sector there are some problems you will present to the doctors. They will tell you, you know what? We're not going to touch this. It's not. It's, it's only benign. So Just now we're going to talk about detoxing your environment. Um, there's a saying that we become like the five people closest to our, to to us in 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 a period of five years. So if you if you're surrounded by people, families, this can be work colleagues, this can be friends, who only tell you how bad things are paint the worst scenario, people who are not honest, who cannot even share their own struggles, because the truth is we all have um, different struggles, you know. It could be at the church, it could be whatever community that is. It doesn't matter if, you, if you're not surrounded with people. Napoleon Hill, um, in one of his series, again, stated that apart from genetics, apart from hereditary the things our genetic makeups the things we take from our parents our, our grandparents and our great great grandparents we have social heredity we 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 absorb we take from we mirror the people around us it can be your friends it can be your environment location 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 so if you're not at the right place if you're not with the right people i don't care how long you've been with them i don't care what you've shared in the past you just have to, it's about doing something different now. It's about living a better life. It's about supporting ourselves, especially when we go through depression, especially when, because there are triggers all around us. So there are things we can change. We need to begin to change them. So I used to love to listen to the news. I used to wake up in the morning, go to the shop, grab um, newspapers until when I realized that most of the narratives in the media is all negative, 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 when I turned to my, I tuned my radio on in the morning, healing, stabbing, everything that is not working. So I've decided to be very selective with the media. I hardly tune my TV. When I do, I go for programs that enrich my life. I listen to my audio books. I, I, play to my music i can sing and listen to the to my own voice and and have fun so these are all part of techniques things you can do to protect your environment to make sure you don't allow um things that would bring you further down so um finally I want to talk about connecting to the higher force. I, you must have to have that connection, whatever you believe in. For me, it's God Almighty, 100%. So you have to um, connect with him. You have to recognize his place, recognize that battles were won already. Sicknesses were healed already. When you go to pray, you don't come in fear. You don't come without faith. It doesn't matter how many tongues you speak in. If you're coming in with fear, you, you go pray. out the same way. So you have pray to pray with conviction. Answer. Believe your prayer is answered and make adjustments as if it's already been given. Live the lifestyle of someone.